Because I think he did do the voice of the aardvark. That's a good point, sir. Thank you. Uh, George and others, your calls are straight ahead with Dr. Edward Grip. I'm Alex Jones. MTV says you're sexist if you hate selfies. I'm not kidding. Democrat calls out politicians with armed guards to defend Second Amendment at debate. New airline to fly migrants directly into Sweden. So they're going to fly them expressly. Just whoever can get on the plane, they're going to be flown into Sweden. Everything's free. EU diplomat says, my government believes Obama is white, mentally unwell. I'm going to cover that in the next five minutes. And then Leanne McAdoo uh, is going to be hosting the fourth hour today. And she's going to get into the latest on the BLM land grab in Texas and the EPA bullying people. We're going to uh, go over some of the highlights of the debate last night with the Democrats uh, and a lot more. That is in the fourth hour today with Leanne McAdoo. Dr. Group, I want to go back to calls, but what is your view of political correctness uh, and the backlash we're seeing to it? Uh, I mean, is I, I don't know that we can that I, I could say that there is such thing as political correctness right now. Um, you know, what I'm trying to do and what I've been focusing on is not really paying too much attention to what's going on there and trying to help as many people as I can with the stress that they're under. I mean, there is just a epidemic right now of, of stress, people skipping meals. They're not sleeping, the insomnia. Sure, so what you're uh, saying is the answer is fight politically, me involved, but first take care of ourselves, get that straight. That's something we can at least do something about. Yes, exactly. Well, I'm looking at the how, how to work with people as to, you know, dealing with how they can handle their life because everybody's life is in shambles. You know, down here in Houston, the oil and gas mecca, people are getting laid off left and right, not a lot, you know, watching all this stuff. It's not just the the political scene that's going on, but it's a multitude coming at every different angle of scenes. Everybody I know now, because they're in a chronic state of stress, their cortisol, because stress really increases your stress hormone, which is cortisol. And cortisol interferes, interferes with the balance of hormones and neurotransmitters. And the neurotransmitters are the chemicals that regulate your mood. Sure, and absolutely, emotions. absolutely. Um, I want to jam in some more calls here. Uh, George is on flu shots. Man, you talk about the walking dead. Anybody can just search three flu shots, doubles Alzheimer's, CBS News, you know, from 10 years ago, and a bunch of other stories, uh, new studies. Uh, taking the flu shot doubles your chances of getting flu. Uh, type in flu shot has never been effective. They never guessed the right mutation. It's a giant hoax, but I see all these idiots lining up to take it. Uh, it's amazing. George in Delaware, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. I'm glad to be talking with you, and it's happened to be about flu shots in Delaware. They're so desperate in Delaware that you pull up to a red light and they'll come over and give you a flu shot. No charge. And um, Well, you, you know, know, it's because the government I, really loves you. That's why they're doing that. Oh, okay. I, 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 I guess I was wrong about them. I thought they were nice guys. Maybe they ain't. Anyway, I um, also wanted to mention to you about the Social Security not getting their raise. Um, they say because right, the of fuel cost, prices. fuel cost has gone yeah, down. So you don't get your cost of living increase. Yeah. Yes. Well, how about the old people that don't even drive and don't use gas and, and they get, you know, their cost of living keeps going up. Their rent goes up, their food and, and all that. But, um, you, you know, they don't deserve a raise because gas is down. That's not fair to the old people. Absolutely. That's God bless you. Great points. I try to turn your radio off in the background, guys. I just want to hear you. No, that's a great point. Obviously, there's inflation across the board, except in a few commodities. Uh, and Social Security, they've always been cooking those numbers. It's very hard for folks to live on their Social Security. Dr. Group? No, I agree with that. I, I've never heard about, I haven't heard about the Delaware situation with them coming up and trying to give vaccines to, to you while you're still in your car. That's yeah, no, it's actually crazy. happening all over the country. They, they have them at red lights now trying to give you shots. Yeah. <sighs> And, and, and they admit, stay there, Dr. We're going to be back in 70 seconds. Uh, some stations don't carry it. Infowars.com forward slash show. And Leanne McAdoo takes over in about eight minutes from now. Leanne McAdoo herself. Stay with us. Highly respected NSA whistleblower journalist John Schindler, a security expert who now writes for the Daily Beast, uh, says that a senior EU official 
said that governments across the board uh, believe that Obama is mentally ill and then gets into why they believe that. And I've, I've heard that from a lot of insiders that Obama is completely delusional, thinks he's God, thinks he's invincible. All I know is it's really evil to take radical Muslims and inject them into non-radical areas to kill everybody and then protect them and then give them everything free. And I just wonder where this is all going. I mean, the economy's unraveling, just like our experts said it would by now. Uh, there's all these preparations going on for tyranny. There's all these attacks on free speech. I think the system's doing this, Dr. Group, because they know that they've lost the confidence of the people. They know there's a major backlash against them forming worldwide. And the numbers show that. Uh, what does your intellect or gut tell you? My gut tells me that people are waking up and they're not believing as much the mainstream media. And we have more and more people every single day that are just, you know, realizing and starting to understand more truth out there. As people become healthy, as people detoxify their body, they start opening up and they start, uh, their consciousness rises. And we're seeing this mass consciousness come into effect right now. and you know, they're sick and tired of hearing all the lies and reading about all the lies and the government and all, a lot of these, you know, secret organizations and everything are starting to become exposed now. And, you know, with time, you I think that we are seeing a progression of good at the same time. So it's not all negative. Uh, I know a lot of, there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, really fighting to educate the masses as to the truth. So, I mean, I, I do see some positive in all of it. All I know is a lot of people say this is an incredibly boring time. The more TV you watch, the more you're into mainstream media, these people are so unhappy, all the big studies show it. I am incredibly fulfilled. My life is just like unbelievably exciting and cool and scary and dangerous and vivid and... I just can't imagine all these timid souls that live in their rooms watching television. I mean, I can't watch more than like 30 minutes of TV a day. I can go see movies and stuff. I, I mean, I just, it's just such a bombarding garbage. You know, I want to go to all these calls. And so sometimes I segue in with the guest host in the fourth hour. I'm going to go to 20 after with Leanne McAdoo and Dr. Group, if you can do it, Dr. Group. So we can talk to Rich, Dante, Mike, Brandon, and Steve. And then we'll throw everything to Leanne. She's got a bunch of news coming up. And it's going to be breaking down more of the Democrat debate. Uh, but Obama bemoans, Dr. Group, that people don't trust the government anymore. And you're going to make things collapse if you don't trust us. Well, if the government's run by globalists that want to collapse things to control us in their own words, if it's illegitimate, isn't it our duty to not trust them and go along with them? I mean, that's common sense. So, so I really see their desperation, Dr. Group. I think we're coming to that tipping point. Right. I agree. I think we're coming to that tipping point, too. It's uh, it's like a last ditch effort that, that the globalists are pulling out right now. And, you know, I hope and I pray that we're coming into the next golden age. It's it's going to be a rough ride, but you definitely do see progress. Um you know, people have woken up about the genetically modified organisms. I mean, we people are fighting against fluoride in the system. People are standing up and trying to be they're, more focused. They're taking the fluoride out. They're cutting it. They, they, they admit we're right. They admit 9-11 was an inside job now. Uh, and then our government stood down bare minimum. We're, we're right again, Dr. Group. Yeah, people are realizing that the government has been up to a lot of shady things over the last 100 years. And so... Uh, they're they're starting to wake up, which is great. I mean, that's been the whole mission to wake everybody up, wake them up. You know, I've been focusing on waking people up to the health care and the diversion. Sure, and they know we're waking up, so they want to start having everybody kill cops, start a civil war, so we all kill each other like morons. And the answer is, we're not going to do it. We're not going to repeat 1860s. We'll be back. And we are now into the fourth hour. We've got Leanne McAdoo in the radio slash TV studio with David Knight. And we've got Dr. Group from the Global Healing Center via Skype joining us from Houston. We're, of course, coming to you from Austin, Texas. Uh, and so this is a big fourth hour lined up. I wanted to do one more segment to go to Rich, Dante, Mike, Brandon, and Steve real quick. But Leanne McAdoo and David Knight, 
I want to get into some of the topics you're going to be covering in this hour after this segment, but also uh, some of the news where there are 15 people arrested for terrorism, for driving around with rebel flags, secretive UN legal conference wants to outlaw climate change denial. I mean, this is getting really totalitarian. They're arresting Germans that criticize open borders. It looks like the totalitarians are moving into high gear. Leanne McAdoo, David Knight, your take on that. Well, and they're openly now talking about how they're going to be censoring people, arresting people. I mean, you can't do anything. You can't have an opinion uh, that is intolerable to the minority, actually. It's the minority now ruling over everyone tyrannically. You, you Absolutely. called it. You know, Alex, one of the things we're going to talk about is this uh, story that was uh, covered by Drudge yesterday that Adon Salazar did, the Texas rancher fighting back against BLM land grabs. This is something that uh, they've been working at for a while. They've moved the boundaries in the uh, Red River Valley area. This is exactly what's happening. They're moving the boundaries on all of our rights. We have to understand that our civil liberties as well as our property rights, those are all property of ours. Right. And so when they take our... They're claiming hundreds and sometimes thousands of yards on every side of rivers and creeks nationwide. Yes, And exactly. they're starting with Texas and Oklahoma just grabbing hundreds of thousands of acres with people's land that have fences they've owned for over 100 years. It's unprecedented. And it's not just the BLM, of course. We're going to talk about the fact that it's the EPA as well. The IRS has operated this way. Right. All of the government operates essentially as blackmailing and thievery. This is something that started with the war on drugs that has metastasized to all these different agencies. They no longer respect the rule of law. They no longer respect property. They don't respect our rights. And this is a very serious situation. The bureaucracies are out of control. That's right. It's a power grab. I mean, yes. everything. Leanne, do you think they're accelerating everything because they're behind schedule or because they just don't care anymore or they want to start a civil war? I mean, it's just on every front. It is just... They're arming to the teeth. They're training to fight us. They're saying yeah. we're the enemy. But the paradox is it's woken up the military and police because they now know the patriots like Ron Paul and ourselves and many others were right about this warning about it. Right. Well, and obviously the Internet had a, a big deal in helping to wake people up. You can get instant access to information. It's a lot harder for them to hide the things that they're doing. Uh, you know, obviously with the Clive and Bundy thing, I mean, that just took off when people saw uh, the blatant disregard for constitutional rights. So, so many people were able to rally around that where without the internet, they might never have even known this was going on. So I think that's one of the reasons why they're really accelerating this, um, having to kind of move their plans a little bit forward. But it's um, interesting that they have a democratic socialist as a serious contender for the presidency, basically saying, you don't need property. You don't need these rights. The government will take care of everything. The government's going to own all that land. So don't worry about it. He's not selling freedom. He's selling freebies. Right. That's the difference between libertarians and socialists. Yeah. It's truly sick, though. It's so premeditated to have the robber barons funding all of this and just to see the helplessness of the TV heads. Uh, Dr. Group, I want to go to some of these phone calls and all of us can chime in on these. Dante is calling from California. He says he disagrees on race issue. I don't know what race issue uh, that was. Can you tell me, Dante, specifically what you disagree with? Well, I want people to have a strong understanding of their power and their identity. And so when I want people to hear what I'm about to say, it's about now, First, you got to tell me what you disagree with, sir. I agree with how your outlook on race. I think that you think race exists, and I think it doesn't exist, and I think it's it's wrong to look at race as something that is a reality. Now, you consider yourself and to be a modern I, liberal because that's a very ignorant. No. It's like, listen, there's a race well, of, hold on a minute. There's a race of canines. All dogs, wolves are basically the same thing. But there's different, there's different variants. There's different flavors. You know, uh, uh, somebody in North Africa is different than somebody in South Africa. Somebody in the Congo is different than somebody in, in you know, Libya. Uh, so it's, it's, it, and of course there's variants within all of those groups, uh, but there is the human race, but then there is different varieties, different variants, different, different, uh, things that are atypical in a group. So you just built a total straw man and said that I believe there are quote races, uh, which is not even a statement I made, which is, which is, I love most time people disagree. They just make something up and then apply it to me. Uh, and, and then most people don't even know about politics or, uh, you know, space bases or anything. They just know about, I'm offended because you don't like my selfie, you're a sexist. Or, I mean, people's literacy is obsessing over mindless race issues. So I wanted to hear what you disagreed with. 
Uh, go ahead. Uh, it's not about you, Alex Jones. It's just about the race issue. 